Hey everybody, I'm Jeff with Pagely in Northstack, and today we're going to be talking about the WordPress editor, otherwise known as Gutenberg. More specifically, we're going to talk about how you can use columns to manipulate your content and really make it shine. So a common page for most websites is the About page. It tells visitors what you're all about, and it oftentimes gives you more information about the team. So for this example, I wanted to use my team at home, which is myself, my wife Jamie, the cat Salem, our dog Lola, and our dog Buddy. And as you see here, it's fairly boring. The content just kind of repeats, uh, but let's see if we can go ahead and shake that content up a little bit, use some columns to really make that content shine and really look nice. So here we are inside the Gutenberg editor, and we're gonna use some column blocks to really make our content shine a little bit, make it look a little more organized and a little more pleasing to the eye. And to do that, all we need to do is go on up in between two blocks and hit this add block button. And then we add a column block here. And now we have a two column block. From here, we're just going to go ahead and put our content to the right and our image to the left just by dragging and dropping them. And there's this little side effect that happens when you add a two column block and it'll cause these extra blocks to be here. All you need to do really is just click on the block and hit the backspace button, it'll fix that little problem. So for Jamie's section, we're gonna do about the same thing, but we're gonna take her image and put it on the right and the content on the left. And this just kind of shakes up the content a little bit, just makes it a little different, just makes your eyes flow a little bit better, uh, makes things not quite as repetitive. And then of course we got to remove that extra little block and uh, I think it looks pretty good. I think it's looking real good so far. Uh, we just have an extra little bit that we need to do for our furry friends. And the way I think we're going to do this is we're going to change it up a little bit and do a three column layout here. Um, since everybody's not always as interested in my pets as I am, then we'll keep them as little minor details here. To create that extra three column block there, we just click on this little button to the left, and then over to the right, you're gonna start seeing these block details pop up. From there, you just click on that, drag the slider over to the three column setting, and then stick your content on in. You might've noticed that dragging things up the page sometimes gets a little finicky. Uh, you may have better luck using new content rather than existing content. I mainly just wanted to show how the blocks can be moved around and nested inside each other, but feel free how to do it however you want. Delete that extra little block there. And we'll get Lola's blocks all moved into her column. One thing to mention here is that when you're moving blocks around in the Gutenberg editor, sometimes they might not go exactly where you expect them to. That's sort of just a side effect of a nested drag and drop UI. I found the best way to avoid that is to look at the little blue line and just double check to see if that is lining up with your content that you're trying to place it inside. So now all we need to do is finish up getting Buddy's blocks all moved into his unique little column there. And so far we're looking pretty good. I'm starting to really like this. I think this is looking like a really nice layout here. Let's just take a step back and look here. We have three columns there. We have the two, the two column blocks there. I think, uh, I think it's looking pretty good. Let's save the draft and hit our preview. And here's what we're looking like. I think it's looking pretty good. This is definitely a huge improvement of what we had before. And uh, this is just kind of proof that the column blocks can really, really help and generally improve your layouts quite a bit with, with very minimal effort. So if you have any uh, layouts that you've used or any fun ways that you've used column blocks inside the Gutenberg editor or other blo Gutenberg blocks that you may really like or want to see more content on, absolutely let us know. Just drop us a comment and we'll be happy to take a look.